Oh, hello! Welcome back to another episode of our Harry Potter and the Sim Sorcerer's Stone series. In this series, we try to recreate the first Harry Potter book in The Sims 4 using Simproves Harry Potter World, which you can download yourself. Comes with tons of beautiful locations created by a bunch of different Simmers and all the characters, well, a lot of the characters from the universe and just a lot of fun stuff. So I downloaded some other mods too to help us tell these stories. And together, we should be able to live out our Harry Potter fantasies. This is episode seven today. So I hope if you haven't watched the other episodes, you probably should start there to kind of see the progression and how I've kind of been running this series. I've gotten pretty good feedback from you guys. So thank you for that. I appreciate the kindness. Uh, this is something a bit different than I've done ever before, but I'm really enjoying the uh, challenge of it. And I'm excited to get into it. Today is going to basically be focused on the first Quidditch game of the year, Slytherin versus Gryffindor. And I actually spent time trying to find, I was like, okay, you can't fly on a broom really, right? In The Sims 4. I was like, there has to be a mod out there that allows that or something, right? I was like, it's going to be so hard to create a Quidditch match with no one able to fly other than the one little animation they do when they teleport. So I was gonna make it work no matter what. But I did find a really old mod. I'll link it down below. I don't remember who made it, but I saw someone do a video on it and like I, I dug around, I finally found it. Like it, the website was broken, but then I searched it and I found the actual mod. I'll send you guys a link to that mod. It's like a, a witch and wizard pack or witch and warlock pack. So that will add some of the flying that we need for this episode. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. I'm going to try to work with what I got. The thing is, I can't control the characters when they're flying. It's kind of like an automated pathing path for them. But I think we can still make it work. So I hope you guys will enjoy how I put this together. Thank you for watching and being a part of our growth here on YouTube. I appreciate every one of you. Let's hop into Harry Potter and the Sim Sorcerer Stone episode Seven. All right, here we are at the Quidditch field for Gryffindor versus Slytherin. The teams are lined up. They are set. The rush of the crowd and the cheers for him and his team. Just pretend there's a crowd, okay? You can't actually sit up there. <laughs> so we're, we're making it work, okay? There's a crowd, yeah! They're making noises like they're yeah, very, very excited to be here. So Hermione, Ron, Hagrid are up in the stands cheering on their friend. For some reason, Ron and Hermione don't like each other. <laughs> oh yeah, because they had a fight. They're still here cheering on their friend together. All right, so Harry, oh. Oliver, and the rest of the team. Oh. Fred and George, <laughs> Neville, they're ready to go. <laughs> Dumbledore, McGonagall, and we have Snape, Quirrell, and Trelawney. Kind of throwing people together trying to make this kind of work <laughs> they don't get to sit that's the only thing we're making it work but they're not sitting and they are ready to watch the game all right so rolanda hooch is ready Slytherin is getting up there getting there practicing and let the game begin so we do have the golden stitch quaffle and two bludgeon good luck and now, okay, so this is where it's gonna get tricky because I can't control them. So we're gonna say, someone on Gryffindor grabs the Quaffle, brings it up, Slytherin can't stop him, and makes a goal! Woo! So George grabs the Quaffle, sneaks around through all the Slytherin, and scores another goal! Yeah, good job, George! Now it's Slytherin's turn to try to score. They tag team on Oliver Wood. Throw a bludgeon and Wood gets hurt and has to leave the field. Poor Oliver. You gonna be okay? And so with the goals free, Slytherin takes a quaffle and scores. And they take the advantage to grab the quaffle and score a second time. And now... The game is tied. So Harry's flying around looking for the golden snitch. The snitch is within his grasp, but his broom starts going out of control. And Hermione notices, look like he's 
casting something under his breath. Keep an eye on Quirrell behind him, too. So Harry almost falls off of his broom. Harry's hanging on, but his broom is being very difficult to control. So Hermione oh, casts a spell to set Snape's oh, robe on fire oh, in hopes that that would distract him huh. from his cursing of Harry's broom. Oh. The distraction worked. Harry gets back on his broom, searching oh, okay. for the golden snitch again. He sees it. It's in his sights. He's about to grab it. He grabs it, ends up on the ground, and the snitch ends up in his mouth. Pops it out, and Harry's so happy he starts singing. <laughs> no, <laughs> but you know, Sim Harry did. All right, good job, Harry. Good job, Gryffindor. And Malfoy was so upset that he lost that he peed himself. <laughs> and I'm Hooch says Gryffindor wins. The game is over. So Hagrid, Harry, and Hermione were talking about what they saw yesterday at the Quidditch pitch and how they thought it was Snape that was doing things to curse Harry's broom. But Hagrid told them it's nothing to worry about and that Snape is a professor and Dumbledore trusts him. There's no reason that he would have caused your problems. And so as they're having this conversation, Hagrid lets something slip. Hagrid just doesn't want to stay, but let's just basically say they had the conversation about a three-headed dog that Hagrid had called Fluffy. So they knew about the three-headed dog thing that he gave to Dumbledore to watch something. And then Hagrid assures them that there's nothing to worry about. What's being hidden is none of their business. It's between Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Shut up, Miss Norris. Why are you always button in on our conversations? And they curiously wonder uh, Nicholas Flamel is. Hagrid says no more. And with that, we're gonna end this episode, guys. Thank you guys for bearing with me for the Quidditch chaos. It was quite a lot of fun to pull off. And I'm glad I found that mod that helped me do it. Because <laughs> otherwise it was gonna be a lot worse. So be thankful we got as good as we got, okay? Thank you for watching episode 7 of Harry Potter and the Sim Sorcerer's Stone. I'm excited to do the next one, and I hope you are excited to watch the next one. Should be out sometime next week. So thank you guys for being here, and I hope you have a wonderful night, day, weekend, whatever time it is, wherever you are. All right? All right. Have a good one. Bye.